Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. We want to get an overall energy for you guys, for your current energy. And then we're going to get into the reading. Like, what did I use the last time? For oh, okay. I see. All right. Welcome back, you guys. <clears throat> Don't forget to hit the like button. Share if you'd like to share if you wanted to. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Often, ooh, we're getting a lot of the same energy out here today. Okay, Coffin, this talks about endings. Okay, so that's your overall energy is about an ending. Like rest in peace. And I'm not saying uh, a physical death. This looks like a, yeah, what a karmic relationship. So there's going to be an ending. These karmic relationships are, le are ending left and freaking right. That's what they're doing, okay? Because that's the overall energy here. Let's see. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Oh. What's the message you want to give um, after the overall energy? What is this message there? Feelings. So with this ending, I feel like there's somebody in their feelings now because it's an ending here oh. here we go romantic feelings feelings card come up again Yeah, somebody's in their feelings because there's unfinished business between they, they, whoever this person is you're breaking up with, that's a karmic relationship, they feel like there's unfinished business, like they're just not ready to give it up yet. Gosh. They want to hook up, they want to hook up, they want to hook up, okay? They want to, they may want to, you know, think that, you know, having sex with them is going to keep you around, maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, they're looking at it like it's a mystery like you know like they looking at you like you're a mystery now it's almost like they don't even know who you are Scorpio legal matters this may be illegal maybe where you have to take this person to court to, uh, or this person going through legal matters if y'all marry, you could be going through a divorce or seeking legal matters. Somebody here is. And that's why you're coming up as a mystery to this person. Like, no, you can't be serious. Mm-hmm. You ghosted them. You've been ghosted them. Legal matters and you're leaving. You're leaving. Somebody leaving. Using your intuition here. Like, you're using your intuition. Like, something's telling you, like, you this time to go. Because you're dealing with nothing but a player. Player from the Himalaya. Player from the Himalaya. <laughs> they want to reconcile. The player wants to reconcile. <laughs> these readings been so dumb. I tell you, these people freaking out. We tried to tell people years and years of these readings. If you go back and see, you can tell. We've been telling y'all this was coming. We in the season of... Okay. Faded meeting. So something faded to me or somebody's going to try to force a meeting, like force a reconciliation or, you know what I'm saying? Or is something that like maybe this legal matter, if y'all divorcing or something, it's going to be like you have to face this person. Yeah, it's a it's an ex-lover. Yeah, yeah, you got to you, you gotta face something here with them. And it could be because of the legal matters, whatever those legal matters may be. But I see it here. It's here. So you have to come face to face with this person, even if you don't want to. Maybe this person is a, 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 a musician, musician, maybe you are. Maybe you got to face the music. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody got to face the music here, which is an ex-lover. Maybe they got to face the music. 
text messages. Maybe they've been trying to text you or you've been trying to text somebody with, oh, now they want to propose to you. Oh, my God. But there's addictions with this person. It's toxic. And they gave you a whole lot of heartbreak. <sighs> Man. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to heal. This person trying to come in. But they know they get ready to lose you. Signs and synchronicity. You see the signs. You know what's up. You already know. Because we got uh, intuition here on the board. Intuition is telling you, you know, you know. Let me get a couple more out here. Spirit, what's going on here? may have a family with this person or has something some of you this may have something to do with family members may not be a love but for some of you is for a lover because it says that lover on you most of you some of you may or you just may have a family with this person you get ready to meet your soulmate secret crush maybe you seeing somebody else and it's something roll of the dice that you're going to gamble on surrender to anxieties and date maybe you know like i said you healing so there's somebody else coming in in the picture you're gonna take a chance on or you just already been talking to and you're just about to just like surrender to, to it spirit saying surrender from your anxieties and just go ahead and date this person okay or or i'm hearing another one where the, the person that you're going to be leaving or leaving or having some kind uh you, they're having anxieties over you dating that's another thing but i feel like you're going to travel and it's it's like a third party what are you going to travel with a third party that means someone else and somebody else is going to be in regret about it Nothing that falls on the floor, fall on the floor, I ain't getting it. Sorry, I'm tired of you know, my back hurting anyway. Uh, break up. So they regret a breakup here, okay? Somebody regrets a breakup. We know who that is. You feel like maybe you want to remain friends or something with them in this relationship. Uh, you got new love here, okay? Finances. There's something about finances. Maybe they have to pay you something. Something about the truth. All right, let's see. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. Or Scorpio. First thing I got out, it's like somebody you know for a long time with the Six of Cups or somebody's like, you know, got some memories thinking about you. Yeah, they've been thinking about you. Look, they have regret about it too. Heavy regret, okay? Because all they're doing is crying over this spilt milk. Like, y'all might have been together for quite some time or even married. Mm. But they, they want to come back. Um... Sagittarius energy. They want to reunite. They want to bring this back together. Because it's, it's, it's all messed up. They in heavy regret over it. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio heavy. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean no harm when I'm like, these, this, y'all, these readings is something. Somebody gonna be freaking broken hearted with the three of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, like, this, this union, reunion that this person want ain't going to happen because they broken hearted or they just wanting to come back because they broken hearted. They could have been had you in a third party, okay? Or they upset because you got somebody else, okay? Yeah, here's the queen of wands. Yeah, somebody had a, 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 a lover. Somebody had a... The queen of wands is usually the mistress. The mistress. A mistress. So somebody had a mistress, and that's what this heartbreak is all over. 
but somebody is in regret about it. Yep, there it go. This could be the mistress too. Could have somebody could have had two mistresses. Who knows? <sighs> High priestess. Okay, she who knows. There could have been somebody in the middle of something because you see how she's in the middle of the black and the white podiums here. So this person could have been the one in the middle, the secret lover, the secret mischief here. Or it could have been two secret lovers, okay? Secret lover. Now the emperor and the magician is in reverse. Oh, Lord. I ain't had that combination and I don't know how long if I even had it. The magician and the empress in reverse. Is this the emperor? The emperor. Okay, so you got somebody who's really, really pissed off. And this person is in manipulation mode heavily this person could even be trying to uh, go to a uh, sp this person is desperate to get your love back Scorpio I'm just telling you right off the bat because with the magician in reverse this is somebody who's trying to do magic like spell work going to even going to uh, practitioners because they mad as crap the emperor in reverse is somebody who's real mad um <clears throat> You don't want to be in a, in a in presence of an emperor in reverse. They're out of control. This person's out of control. And that's why the uh, magician come in reverse. It could be a Virgo or a Gemini energy. This may have happened around a Mercury retrograde. A lot of things happened around a Mercury retrograde. If we're still in I got to look up the dates and see if we're still in it. But this may be just the residual of the Mercury retrograde. People finding out the truth from other people. And it's causing all these breakups and stuff and people moving on from toxic energy. All right. So the emperor's in reverse again. Could be an Aries. Somebody real hot-headed. Mm. And the devil. That's three major arcana cards all together right here. This is heavy. Whoever done dumped some. They could have had two mistress, missed it. Two people that they were fooling around with. It could have been two of them. Because there's two of them right here. And they both considered to be the second person or the mistress or the hideaway chick or guy. It could be a guy. And here's the three of swords next to it. It could have been like two, three people involved in this. And that's why this emperor now is in reverse. And and the magician is in reverse. Because this person's really uh gonna try their best to do anything that they can they in a temper tantrum mode they mad they rude ignorant trying to do some type of spell work or heavy manipulation that's all spell work is anyway heavy manipulation doing anything doing anything using tools okay because they got all the aces in the deck but they're upside down so you know they trying to use these tools but i don't feel like it, it, it ain't come, gonna come out right because they all in reverse those tools don't want nothing to do with this magician. So so they out there probably trying to get someone outside of themselves to do this. Like a practitioner. Look, devil. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, this person is off the chain. Y'all got to put in the comments what's going on here with this person. Man. This person is completely obsessed and not in a good way either. Not in a good way. Not with the emperor and the, high, uh, the um, magician in reverse. They're not. No, not in a good way. You want to get away from this person and fast and quick as possible, Scorpio. Use your intuition, y'all. Intuitive. Shoot, you got new love coming in. That's why this sucker is off the chain, gang. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean to be funny. Now that card fell down there and I ain't getting it neither. I'll get it later. But y'all seen it. This guy's off the chain. They hurt bad. They only got one stick left. Like, I don't know. Maybe you got heavy blockages up against this. And it could be, look, there's two stories here so far. Like, it could be this person trying to pretend like they coming back with love and offer love, but you're blocking them. You got so, you know, you're heavily blocked. Like you're heavily guarded against this person. You're like blocking them. Look, you can see the 
So that's what I think. See, they just try to play a, 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 a manipulation game on me in the card, in the card deck. They trying to play with me, like trying to manipulate me to say something that ain't true. <laughs> but luckily, Spirit got this, okay? Yeah, I told you because they're going to try to do anything. This magician in reverse going to try to do anything, manipulative, conniving, whatever. Now they're coming up like they're such a good person. Like, look, I want to offer you, I want to show you all my tricks that I got, but you're hit to it, I guess, because you're blocking them. <laughs> you've been you've been hurt by this person too much. You done took too much from this person, like so. You got your guards up. You don't uh -huh. care. You don't care how they coming towards you. Yeah, you probably put a lot. They, you know, you they, you probably put a lot of work and effort into this person, or you met this person at work or something. Maybe that's why it's hard to get rid of them or something, or from not seeing them. Maybe these two women here or two men here that's in this picture as a secret or side chicks or side dudes or whatever. Okay, maybe this all happened at work. Maybe there's some work drama. But some, somehow, another, you see your future coming in with the three of wands. You're ready to take action because you know, you know, you know now, like, your intuition is really telling you it's time to go. And, and I'll be darned that you need to go. Yeah, you need to go from this marriage. You need to turn your back on this. And some of you are married to this person. It could be the dark Taurus. It could be a, 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 a Pisces. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got everybody up in this camp. Let me get a couple more and, and, and then I'm going to give you, I don't know. Because it's just, it's just plain and clear. But y'all got new love on the way. That's for sure. Time to head on, like move forward and don't turn back. You got too many, you got too many majors in this reading. This is highly, highly... <sighs> There's a lot of uh, clarity here with the majors. The majors always come out with the clarity and what really going on. And, and it's like some serious energy that you need to be considering taking moving forward here. It's time to get out of this marriage. If you're married to this tyrant here, who the magician in the reverse and the freaking, where'd he go? He tried to, he's jumped off the table, but I know it. The emperor's in there in reverse, okay? We know he's down there. Yeah, you got to get away from this tyrant. Spirit's like, move forward with the chariot. It may be a cancer. You might have cancer in your chart. Yeah, so you can get your justice. Justice will prevail here. Another major arcana card may be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, this person was juggling so much, like causing all kind of disturbances in your life. I mean, my God, but you are going to get your ten of cups. Like, your wish fulfillment is coming in. Like, and the ten of pentacles. What? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles? Emotionally and materialistically or financially, you're going to be just fine. Like, you're going to meet the lover, Gemini, or... Yeah, Gemini, I'm sorry. A Gemini. You might meet a Gemini. You might meet a Virgo here. Like, this is all major. This is major. This is a reading that you need to listen to. Now, Simply Love ain't here to tell you what to do. But I could feel these energies. I feel it more than what y'all do, okay? And you got to get away from this person if you do want your wish fulfillment because Spirit said it's here. It's here, all right? It's here. You know, it's like, you know, go inside, like maybe ghost yourself or get, get away from this person where they don't know where you at, what you're doing, nothing. Do some healing work. Listen to your uh, guides here. And, you know, there is somebody else coming along that, you know, suits you, that suits you, that suits you. And I feel like it may be this king of pentacles here. Somebody who is stable, reliable, pretty much got their self together, very settled. A husband figure. This is a good husband figure. That emperor reverse, uh-uh. That's all I got for you, Pites. No, um, Scorpio. Who did I say you was? Oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. I think I said Pisces, okay? No, I didn't. I said Scorpio. I said Scorpio, right? Scorpio. I'm going to go to the beginning and figure it out and make it right. So it's Scorpio. We'll do Pisces next. Thanks. Hit the like button on your way out.